points of access with Philip White. Joey, you have to improve access to your digital world. This is OmniPage, the optical character recognition software that we're going to use to convert the PDF file of the chapter of the book that we worked on earlier. First thing we do is we create a new file. Then we click on this button here, Load Files. And you find the location of your file and you click or double click and it opens the file up and you have your thumbnails over here and then you have your image of the book here it hasn't been converted into text yet besides being able to load files you can also use a scanner use digital camera files or load files from other locations such as Dropbox, Evernote, and SharePoint. Once the file is loaded and you have all the pages up, you can then just come over here and perform OCR. The software will automatically recognize text and pictures throughout this chapter. And as it's producing that, part of the flow is to do proofreading and so the context of the document is located up here the words that you're looking to fix are in this area here in their marked in red and then down here there will be suggestions and in this case there's an ellipse and we're just going to ignore that when you want to make a correction you either double click on the word up here under suspect word or use the suggestion down here and click change but I'm going to ignore this word here we actually have a spacing error so I'm going to click between the F and the L press spacebar click change now I'm not going to go through the entirety of this document so I'm just going to click close and let it process the rest. And as you see we're actually able to make corrections inside and when I double click on a word it shows me the picture of the from the scan above the word and so I can compare to make sure it's proper And if I want to change pages, I can just click on the thumbnail. The final step, once the automatic scanning and you finish the proofreading is done, you can come over here and save the document. You click on this. Type in a file name. Now, how you save the document is significant. Depends on the type of person who's going to read this book, whether they use a screen reader or a text-to-speech application or some other means of reading the book. You want to save the content off so that they can read it. Your choices are plain text, formatted text, true page, and flowing page. Now true page and flowing page will set text in boxes at time that a screen reader cannot get to. So generally we will save the document in formatted text. But when you save it in formatted text, what will happen is the formatting of the pages will be altered and may not look so proper on the document when someone's reading it. Now for someone who's blind that won't matter. In this instance I'm going to save it as a true page. 
and click OK. Notice it's already set to Microsoft Word. It only takes a few seconds. And when you're finished, you can close out your Omni page. And then you'll see the file is saved into my folder for the sample book. And I'm going to open that up in Word. And make this a little smaller so I can see the pages. I'm going to scroll down through them. So because I saved it in a true page format, it put some code in here for section breaks so it will keep the continuity of the pages. You lose all that when you save it as a text. And you also lose the way the margins are set up. So depending on who's reading the book, you might want to alter to format a text for someone who's using a screen reader and for someone who's using a text-to-speech such as read and write you might want to put it in this format 